What's up, guys? Oh, I just did a what's up, guys. That's embarrassing. You want to come be in this video, Henry? That you know the button is the Mandalorian has for the acting. Oh, yeah. You're making a... Henry's working on a shop project with us today. He is making the Baby Yoda carrying case from the Mandalorian, right? Uh-huh. In our last video, we started the framing of the walls in the van back here, uh, and it's gone pretty well. I was stuck on a little bit of a problem, but I've come up with a solution for that. I'm gonna try using pocket holes in my metal to metal screws and just take our vertical slat straight down into that lip across the bottom. A couple other projects on the agenda for today. Cutting a hole in the roof, installing a vent fan. Here we go. You need blue tape? I got a bunch of this. Right between your legs. So good. All right, be honest in the comments, which one of you noticed that I didn't run the wire behind the wall? to pull my curve bending failure from the last video out. It wasn't actually a failure, but it doesn't fit what I'm going for in here. And now that I figured out how I'm gonna box out the windows, I'm not really worried about like maintaining curved walls because actually the windows are curved and the window box, it's gonna feel very, it's only a very small part of the van that's actually gonna come out in these angles. So it'll be great. That's a wrap on framing this van. Uh, now I've got just a little bit more insulation to put in this wall. Paige did a great job. She insulated most of it. I'm just gonna finish up this little bit here now that it's framed out. And then we're either pulling wire through the walls or cutting a hole in the roof. Well, we gotta do both, so probably do the hole in the roof next. I just remembered we had the van up at the house a few weeks ago in a heavy rain before the floor was installed and I got up in the morning and the van was parked downhill and it was full of water it had all run all the way to the front of the van and it turned out to be because the rear brake light at the top middle was cracked and letting a lot of water in 
so I uh, ordered a replacement. What's also kind of cool about this is there's supposed to be an interior light back there that lights the van up when we open the doors, and it's just missing. So it's actually part of this assembly, so we're gonna replace that. Got a little weatherproof gasket on here. Yeah, man, this is good. We need this to be dried in. I wonder how I get this light to turn on. Doors have been open for days, so if it's on a timer, it's already off. But we've got a tail light, and we've got an interior light. Now the battery's gonna go dead from leaving the lights on. I mean, the door's open. It's time to install the vent fan on this thing, so I can get it wired up and start thinking about closing in the ceiling. I got lights in the mail. They're gonna be here tomorrow. I've installed two of these Max Air fans on our motorhome remodel. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, the difference on those was I was fitting them to an existing 14 by 14 standard hole in the ceiling from the fans that shipped with the RV. So I've made myself a little template, 14 by 14, to mark the cutout on the roof. And I'm gonna start with putting a pilot hole dead center where I want the fan from the inside. And then I'll match that up at the center point of this template. And then I'll mark this on the roof, tape it off, and we'll cut a hole. The uh, vibration of the jigsaw turned you guys around. But we got a hole in there. I'm gonna go, you want to you be the first ones to do the thing? I haven't even done it yet. It's the most fun part of cutting holes in your rig is going whoop. Cool, right? Now the next thing I need to do is build a support box around that opening that the shroud on top of the fan can screw through the roof and into. And so I just took a cutoff board and marked about the depth that that goes to meet up with the ceiling because I'm gonna try and make it flush with the ceiling. Now I'm going to rip some two by sixes down to the size I need to make this box around that, screw it together, and then I'll, I'll show you how it works.
I realized yesterday I didn't have the right screws for this, so I've been to the hardware store this morning, and Paige is gonna come by here in a minute and help me install this. How to do it? Just making sure I line it up over the screw holes. And then off camera, what I did was I went to the van and I found where the grooves in the roof that I had to cut my plate, my cut my box around, you know, they dipped down. Um, on the top side, I just backfilled those with individual layers of beetle tape until I built it up to the roof line. So, so we've got some really thick spots of beetle tape and then I'm gonna cover the whole deal with lap sealant. And I'm just gonna come back and make sure I've really got these corners nice and built up. I might even put a little tape over the top if I've got thin spots. Roof's loading. Looks fine. Oh yeah? Yep. came out really good. I'm excited about it. Super snug. The roof and the box are one. And I think I got the clearance pretty good on this too. I think that that's going to sit really flush with our ceiling panels. Oh, I still have to climb up there one more time and install the top of the fan. like you were lined up you weren't I found that if you just tip the nose down it finds that bracket and then it kind of pulls it into place and you can straighten it out just like that In there. 
Nice. I will climb up here one more time. And I will put lap sealant on this. We're saving that for a day where I can get outside and do it though. Cool. I think that's where I'm gonna leave you guys for now. The wall framing is done, the ceiling framing is done, the fans installed, and in our next video, I will be revealing whatever our layout's gonna be because I've gotta to commit to that now because the very next thing that we're doing is pulling wiring through the walls to all the places it needs to get. So that's where we have to have the layout finalized. And then we're cladding these walls. Uh, I'm hoping to get this thing out for a trip very, very soon. It won't be finished yet, but at least to have it all dried in and the walls all put in and take this thing out for a trip. So we're documenting this whole build. So if you wanna follow along, make sure and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.